Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Northwestern Wildcats. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Wildcats face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Secondly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. For two, perfectly executed. That's a nice looking play right here. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. From right in the circle, knocks down the three. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Number 20 takes it away. Fast break opportunity here. Goes up for two. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. He tries to knock down the three. You betcha. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> this defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. On the outside, Jackson handles the pass. Ooh, look at the shot blocker. They got some contact. Nice hops. Briggs receives the ball. He uses the shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He intercepts it. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to go inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He puts up the tray. Northwestern are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. And a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. From right in the circle. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Trying to feed inside and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Went away from the post and goes the other way. It sticks. Working it around the perimeter. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. 
He shoots from the elbow. Here's another look, Dick. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The shooting guard handles the feed. And now there's a whistle and a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to draw the foul. Northwestern are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Looking for the foul. Reese makes the finger roll. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. The power forward receives the pass for the bucket. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Walsh wants even more support from the fans, Nick. He wants the crowd excited for this offensive possession. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Thinks about the shot. Almost lost the basketball. Set that screen away. He shoots from the angle. He gets it to go. Lobs it, trying to draw some contact. Got to make that baby end a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for an easy deuce. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job, poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow, little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> There's the fake. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. On the outside. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He shoots from outside. Gets it to fall. They look to get it to the inside. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'll work it around the arc. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Kicks it out. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Very active defensively. A lot of pressure on the basketball. Briggs fakes the shot. 
Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. High post screen, gonna use it. He gets the rejection. Perfectly executed. Dumps it in. Entry pass. Blocked! Walsh is fired up and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They work it back to the outside. He wants a three. Wisconsin are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Terrible execution on offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He drains the bucket. The skip pass is picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. With a rejection. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brett, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before. So we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. All right, thanks, Aaron. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Take a look right here. There's the trap. He takes a three. Way off target. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. He shoots from the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. Defense, defense, defense. From the top of the circle, he swishes it from downtown. Goes up for two. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in an ice inside basket. Dump it inside. Kicks it out. The ball goes out of play. What a 
play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. There's the pick. There's the roll. Goes in. We need to see that again, Brad. away the pass. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And a slam. the shot from the baseline. He buries it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Stolen away. They get it out into transition. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the free throw line. He makes the first shot. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the top of the key. Wisconsin are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Pressure that basketball. Gave it up. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Goes out of bounds. In the paint. Strips the ball.
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the three ball. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Tries for two. They still don't score. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. On the outside. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He shoots from the top of the circle. He doesn't get the hoop. Got to make that baby. Had that wide open angle. Had a chance to lay it on a glass for an easy goose. They come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. He fires from long range. Shot clock is dead. Drops the bucket despite the harm. the pass he shoots from left of the circle they are heating up this building where they're shooting right now Dick the hits just keep coming baby at the half the Wildcats are up by one Western gave us a three ball lesson Dick in that first half. I'll tell you a mighty lesson it was. I expect to see more of the same in the second half. I smell upset Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out. That's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Picked off. They move it into the front court. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers.
Working it around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit side. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you gotta protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. For two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? They work it around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Number 45. He's got to move the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Step out on that screener. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Northwestern have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Spacing. That's so important in a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Moving it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Way off target. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The shooting guard handles the pass. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Here's a double team. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first, initially, he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. On the dribble, gives it up. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Looks at the three. He drains the shot. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. <laughs> oh, 
Good job defensively. They get out on the break for the bucket. Gets it to go. On the inside. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating the good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. He tries the three ball. He buries the shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position. He blocks the shot. Picks off the pass. They come the other way. The kick out. The ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. They need to get them the ball there. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He shoots from left of the circle. Outside three, got it. We got to roll that one back. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. On the outside, from the top of the key. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. And 
and the ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. The Badgers have been very successful of late. They're becoming regulars at the NCAA tournament. Last time I checked, recent success was a good thing. As a matter of fact, any success is a good thing. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Number 45. Strips the ball. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That was nice. And the ball goes out of play. You know, there was a time in this ball game, Dick, where I didn't think these guys had a chance to get back in front, but they have really battled, and now they look like the team we expected to see earlier. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to get the D to bite. Controlling the ball. For three, buried it. Three, three, four, four, three. The assist to number 45. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Stolen ball. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> he didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gets it back out. Got some room. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. There's the trap. And they get the turnover. Pump fakes. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Dump it inside. Steals the pass. And momentary look from three-point land. Northwestern have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Great defense. That's a foul. 
standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player leading one way and spin back the other. The player's got a much needed breather with that timeout. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Picks off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 45. They'll work it around the arc. Fakes the jumper. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do it. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Man, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop of this possession. He fires from long range. He drains the bucket. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint for two. Up and in. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice high post screen. He strokes it off target. Spencer receives the pass. He dials long distance. They're on fire deck from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Yes! He goes for the trifecta. Good. Picked off. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from the baseline. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. the pass. Jackson handles the feed. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up for the bucket. He missed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He posterized them. Diggy V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad.
Number 20 going to the line for the first time tonight. It's good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Steals the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. He goes for three. He drains it. We get another look. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. He attempts the trifecta. 10 on the shot clock. How out of the timeout, Brad. And we're back to a two-point game. Reese receives the ball. A high screen. The point guard takes the feed. Obvious foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. He gives him the fake. The center gets the pass. Can't get the shot to drop. Pushes it. He intercepts it. Shot clock is dead. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. The center gets the ball. He's got a high post flasher. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Rims out. And they'll decide this one in overtime. That's how games like this want to be, baby. Play the extra period. With such a well-played game, it's only fitting the score is all knotted up and that these teams are going into overtime. 
Nick, this is why paper and basketball are two different games. On paper, this one shouldn't even have been close in regulation. And we're going overtime. I tell you, it's been Shock City all night, but I'll tell you, Brian, it's going to be essential in the OT to take command as the underdog because they're going to get every bit of a challenge now from the favorite who doesn't want to leave here with an L. He shoots from the top of the key. Buries it. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. Goes up for two. The land. Picked out of the air. The point guard takes the pass. Takes the shot. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Takes away the pass. He gets the bucket to fall. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Fakes the shot. Up fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Intercepted. Looking for a good shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop it. He unloads. He drains the shot. Got an open look if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, the bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He pulls the trigger. Knocks down the two. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Let's face it. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from right of the circle. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. Here's a flash from the high post. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Thanks, Aaron.
goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. The point guard with the ball. He fires away. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. From way outside, these three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. He goes to the line for the first time. It's a T.O., baby. Hey, it's nail-biting time. Where's my P.T. Beer? Who's going to step up and make the big shot? Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard New York. He rejects it. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the three-pointer. Off the rim and no good. We see this occasionally, Dick. You know, they were expected to win this ball game, and at times it looked like they were going to be able to pull it out. But hey, this is a big shocker for them. I think they could close it out. They could make a big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away from which made them such an outstanding team. Being unselfish and sharing the ball. Northwestern comes away with the win in overtime. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.